Let's click here. Firstly, we just go with the slice option. Here we have the slice option. Just click on this. Slice option help us to divide the particular image into sub parts. For example, if we just draw this particular section like this, this image has been divided into these for the these four, five, six sections here, right? So if after dividing this section, if you want to save this particular section, you can go with that, okay? And you can also adjust this path, so hold it and just drag down, just move on equal this cursor and just drag down this, it will decrease or increase the size, you see there. We can manipulate the size of the different frame or the different section for our image. Yes, if you look like, if you just set like this and just save this image, just click on file and just save this particular image and click on desktop and name some file and click on save, okay? And click on okay. So you will get a folder. You will get a folder yes, on the desktop. When you click on this, here we get the folder of the image. Image means, image name folder will get and just click on this and open there. You will get the particular image in this section. Is it visible or not? Just double click here and just choose here. Just see there. Here's the image of nature and here we get the a folder that is the image name folder. Again, just click on this. You can save this particular location. Okay. Let's go with again the tools. Just click on this here file and here we use what? Save for web page, right? And after doing that, here we use JPG, different types of files available there. So just use your JPG and click on save option. Just click on save. And after saving this, here's the image only. Just see there. We just click on desktop and you will get the desktop location and just type your my file, my file like this and click on save. It will save on the desktop. You just minimize it. And when you click on this, you can just see the folder of this particular image. Just double click here and a folder come on your desktop. Uh, desktop is uh, visible or not here? Yeah. Just see there, here's the image name. Yes, fine. Just type, you will get the folder like that. Okay, images. And you will get a different section in this, in this particular section. The section is visible here or not in their new folder. Is it visible here or not? Just see there. Is it visible? Yes, sir. It's visible. Okay, the it's divided to multiple sections and click on this. And after that, just close it and again just open the share the new screen like this. Just click on again here and we go with the same option. The image is visible or not? Is image visible? Yes, sir. Image is visible or not, dear? With section, different sections. It's visible, sir. Okay, here we just go with the next tool. Just click on this, and here we have the slide, slide select tool, slide select tool. Just right click on this particular section, and here we have the option that is edit slides option. Just click on this and write the URL address for the particular website. Just see here, we here we just type the URL address, it's like this HTTP. Okay, and colon double forward slash www.google.com. Or you can just type svsdti.com, svsdti.com. So by this option, we can make the image mapping on our page. Just target it, just use the blank, blank, and click on the message text like this. Hello. And just type some message for the image. This is my uh, svsdti area, right? And click on OK. This is my first section. You can also link the particular other website. Just right click here on the other, another section and click on this edit slice option. And again, just do the same process here. Just type the another URL address like this HTTP colon double forward slash www dot and just type google.com. It will open the Google and target should be blank. Just click on blank and just type the image. This is Google area. And here we use what this is. Google area. Okay. And just save this. We have we link the two particular section for the particular two website. You can also go with a different section for the image mapping, right? And after doing that, just click on file. And here we have the option that is save for web. Just click on this, save for web and click on where save here. And again, we choose the desktop location and just type the my image, just type here my image and click on okay, or just click on save. You will get an image. Okay, on your screen, just close this or you just minimize it and just double click here. Uh, just open the image of that on the desktop. 
here the saved image that is the uh, image folder where is the image folder just checked it this type i it will show in this section this is the image folder right and here we have some images sections here and when we click on our image as i saved in the desktop just minimize it and here we have the image on the desktop when you click on this image bollywood actresses and screen is appearing or not here desktop i think it is not appearing right understood hello is it visible or not here no yes sir it's visible okay just go with this option just click on when it just open the web image as you saved on the desktop it will show the link for the particular area it will show the particular link for that area just open this image as a web browser just right click on the image and open with as a web browser open with the web browser you can select the any web browser okay from the selection box and just open the particular yes, image sir. on website and after opening of this image on your website you will get the link of this image you will get the link of this image like this okay and when you move your own image it will show the hand tool by which you just click on this you will get the website of that image right so this is all about the image section you can observe that particular location by using this process right so by this option we can just make the image link image link right yes, so yeah. so by this option we can just set the image link by using this so this is all about this slides option just delete all the process just take the another image just close it and click on no and double click on the next image from the nature and choose any image from this section again take an image from the section like this just click on this image and click on open here we have the image if you want to just crop this or you may just click on this and here we have the crop image you know very well just drag down and like this and you will get the image and just click on this button or press enter you will get the crop this is about the crop option here we have the prospective crop prospective crop means the serial just take the another yes, image sir. and just click on the another image like this double click here here we have the image just click on the prospective crop and just draw this section like this right we can just increase and decrease the path according to our movement like this here we can adjust the different angle for the perspective tool by using the this tool and we can set it and after doing that we can just crop this particular section okay for our image to give the particular look or perfect look for that particular section just see here when we take this angle it will crop like that angle okay so we can get we can set the angle of the cropping part by using this perspective tool right that is a perspective crop tool understood and these are the four tool by which we can just uh, cut our yes, image sir. and we can just select the desired area of the particular image clear just go with the next tool last time we have studied that the uh, selection option right clear last time we have selected which option we have uh, go with that option when to with that color range option right the selection option and next one here we have the tool just click on this this is the eye dropper tool color sampler tool ruler tool and that is the last one that is a node tool so how can we use this tool that is the eye drop tool eye dropper tool help us to select the specific color for the particular brush or particular paint bucket selection okay you just click on this eye dropper tool and you can just click on any area of your image you will get the color in this particular box this is the red color when you click on this it show like the face color in this section when you click on this it will show a little bit orange here just click on this you will get the black color so uh, it will help us to select the specific color from our image for the brush or for the different color properties of the different tools clear next one that is the color sampler tool how can we use the color sampler tool just go with that here that we have the color sampler tool just click on this and just place your cursor here right we will get the different ratio of this particular in, uh, color like this if we want to just define the particular color in the form of rgb format so we can mention the values of this particular see here here we have the values in this info section as you can see in the right side of this particular 
dropper tool. That is the uh, R ratio is 240 and G ratio is 195 and B ratio is 166. So when we want to just transfer our information on our telephone or communication, we can just give the ratio of this particular color. They will get the particular specific color as I defined from here. Okay. If you want to just define the particular color in the form of CMYK, the other person will get the particular ratio by following this ratio. As I mentioned during the communication, cyan, magenta, yellow, black. Okay. And here we have the another ratio that is the X, Y axis. We can judge where our cursor position exactly placed on our image, right? So this is the, and it is the option by which we just give the information of the yes, particular, particular position of our cursor, particular color ratio in the form of either RGB or you can go with the CMYK. CMYK stand for cyan, magenta, yellow, black, right? And here we have the RGB, red, green, blue. And this is the X and Y axis. This is X axis and this is Y axis, right? And we can also set the width of this. Just click on this. Here we have the width of that. If we draw the some rectangle with that, right? Just close this section. Just click on this. It will give the different ratio for the different section of the color. Just see it. Here we have the four sample of this color. This is the first, second, third, fourth. When we click on the different section here, we have the name with the particular selection. This is the first one color ratio. It will showing like that. Second color, third color, fourth color. So when we click here, we set of four color. We can select by using this. And when we, we can make the record of that and we, whenever we work with that, we can just give the particular color information by using or by following this window. That is the information. Yes, and again, just click on the next option, just close this window. And here we have the next tool. Just click on this and delete it. Just click on this and delete it. Here we have the next tool. Just click on this. Here the ruler tool. Why we use ruler tool? Just see here. If you want to just mention the particular face height, okay, we can go with the measurement of this particular tool. Just draw the particular line like this. You will get the information on the information tool. In on the information tool, just click on this, and here we have the information tool. Just click on info tool or press F8. You will get the information in the form of width and height. So here we have the width, and here we have the height, right? So the height of this particular image that is 8.692, you can observe here, right? We, similarly, we can just uh, measure the width of this face. Just click on this, you will get the width of this face that is 4.444. So we can place our particular area on the other area by measurement, by using the measurement, by using this tool. So it will help us to measure the particular section or particular part of the image by which, which we can manage or manipulate our layers more specifically for the particular area right and after that if you want to just add some notes with that yes, if you want to just add some note with a particular area just here are some notes just click on note if you want to just give this particular work for the particular uh, person who work on this or our junior just click on this note and click on this particular section and we just mentioned here it should be more bright just type some comment in the form it should be more bright so we can just give information for the photo editor for the particular effect right more bright right similarly we can go with the, this note just click on this head should be more clear to so just type your head should be more most clear head should be more clear right so yes, we, so. we can give some work or assignment for the particular image properties and after giving this information, the worker or the designer or the photo editor will do on this particular space, as I mentioned in this particular section in the form of notes, right? This is, these are the different notes. When you place our cursor, you will get the note information like this. Here we get the information of that and we can work yes, with that, right? Understood? And just right click here, you can after doing that, just click on here, delete node, and you can also go with the delete all node. It will remove all the nodes after doing all the works, right? And click on okay, it will delete all the nodes. Clear, clear, dear? So these are the options by which we can just mention some information for the particular image or particular specific images, right? Clear? And you can just press F8 to hide the information. Understood? Just go with the next tool. Here we have the next tool in this particular section that is the 
that is a path selection and direct selection tool i have already told about this path selection and direct selection tool both will help us to manage the shape as i draw from this section and as we draw the path by using the pen tool you know very well pen tool why we use pen tool we, if we want to just define the particular shape particular path we can go with the pen tool right free transformation pen tool help us to draw the free form area where you want to just draw anything like that okay you can make any shape by using this and after doing that you can select here to see there here we draw the shape if you want to go with the path just click on this go with the path so here we want to just draw the shape that's why we use your shape right and by this option we can set the color for the specific part and here for the outline of this particular image like this and just click on black it will show the black color as an outline of your image right understood so we can draw any path as you want just draw here as you want and it will yes, these types of shape and if you want to just save this particular shape shape just click on this shape by using the selection tool just click on this and click here it will select from this section right after selecting this shape here we have the option that is what option that is the define custom shape define custom shape just click on custom shape you will get the particular box just write your name shape name my custom shape custom shape or you can type any name for your shape and click on okay and after doing that if you want to just again insert this image so here we have the property that is a custom shape just click on this you will get your all saved object in this section at the bottom like this here the last shape as i said this is the shape you can just match this this is the shape whenever you require this shape just click here and just draw this again like this you will get the another shape like that and just again draw you will get another shape right these types of shapes you can draw by using this Tool. this is the use of which option free transformation and if you want to just add it this shape here we have some properties that is the add anchor points just click on this and you can just go with that and just modify the shape by using this right we can manipulate or manu just format or edit the particular shape by using this clear here and here we have also the predefined shapes in this particular section just click on yeah. shape. and they are predefined shape you know, know very well that it is a scissor these are the different designs also available you can go with that and just draw anywhere you want you will get these types of shapes clear and after selecting you can move here wherever you want just click here and place your person understood so just make this content and if you have some problem with that just ask me okay so yes, we have the last we'll just go with that it is remaining here this is the add anchor point by this option you can just click here and after clicking here after selecting here like this you will get the different dots like this structure this is known as node and if you want to just delete or add some nodes here just click on this add anchor point it is also known as anchor point just click on this if you want to just add here just click on this just see there a dot coming with that just again click here a dot coming with that and you can just place your cursor and move it like this and if you want to just delete this particular dots or anchor just click on delete and just place your cursor here again it will delete from this particular section like this it will delete a particular dot or particular nodes from this particular shapes like this right clear so it will yes sir. so this is the part of today's class just do this process